Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Talisa. I am the CEO of Organized Success Life Coaching with Ty. I help single mothers master their confidence despite the past by helping them to set realistic goals, take action, and turn their dreams into a reality, all while providing organized tools for success. So if that's something you're interested in, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notice bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a video. I am coming on to do daily bread Monday through Friday for those of you who need a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of push just to dive into the word and strengthen your relationship with God. On this morning, I wanted to come on and read 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. But first, we're going to dive into a quick prayer, and then we'll get right into the word. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such a beautiful day, Lord God. We thank you for giving us life, health, and strength. We thank you for another chance to get it right with you. We ask that your word go over on good ground, Lord God. We ask that whoever is meant for, that it blesses them in a tremendous way, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all, let's dive right on in. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, and it reads, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yes, y'all, you have to cast down every negative thought that you have. Those negative thoughts will hold you captive. Your mind will play tricks on you. That spirit of, that imposter spirit will have you thinking less of yourself. The negativity will just keep flowing in and flowing in. When you start to think negative, you better replace that negative thought with positive thoughts. You have to replace that negative thought with God's word. It sounds really easy, yeah, I know. But I also know that it can be hard. It can be hard. <laughs> when self-sabotage comes in, it will destroy you if you let it. You cannot let it. I don't know who this is for, but in this season, you have to trust in God. You have to do, get your mindset right. You have to start putting yourself first and working on you. You cannot allow the devil to win. Those negative thoughts cannot hold you captive forever. You have to commit to it. You have to commit to working on yourself. The Bible was put here to guide us. It's God's word. It tells us he's going to be here for us. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will always have your back. You have to do your part. You have to keep your faith high. And I'm a living witness. It gets hard. It gets rough sometimes. Oh, I already know. But you have to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back in your word. You have to allow God to lead you. Give those situations that you have no control over, give them to God. Give them to God. Negative thoughts, give it to God. Replace those negatives with a positive. Start by doing affirmations and stuff like that. I am. I am affirmations. Lord have mercy. They have changed my life. They have changed my life and they'll change yours as well. Those negative comments, those negative thoughts, anything negative, I don't care what it is, will only tear you down if you let it. But guess what? You ain't gonna let it. You are a fighter. You're strong. You're resilient. You gotta keep pressing. In order to do that, you gotta let go and let God. This is Ty, and I'm signing off on Daily Bread. I'll see y'all bright and early tomorrow morning on Daily Bread. <laughs> y'all have a blessed day.